organic learning. an awesome assortment of street vehicles today. I mean, we are gonna dive right in and learn about the color green. G-R-E-E-N, that spells green, let's do it. First one of the day, check this out. Probably our fastest of the day, you guys. This is a green sports car. Come back here. <laughs> This thing is so cool. You guys know what this is? It's actually an exotic sports car and it's made by Lamborghini. That's right, that is Italian made and I'm pretty sure that's Italian for super duper fast. <laughs> no, I'm kidding you guys, but these things are built for speed. Look on the back here, I don't know if you can see that Lamborghini. It's got a really cool spoiler here. Now these things are two seaters or coupes because <laughs> you're not bringing the whole family in this. You're going maybe with a friend or a buddy and you are just cruising around, spinning those tires, having a lot of fun. Now, these things go fast. How fast? Over 200 miles an hour. Whoa! And zero to 60 miles an hour in 3.7 seconds. I mean, that is crazy. The bad news, they're gonna run you about $200,000. That is a hefty price tag. These are so awesome. And this is a green sports car. Okay, gang, next up is one that, man, I've used plenty of times. This is a green moving truck. <laughs> That's silly. Now, this is great when you're moving from one town to the other. What you do is you basically open up the back here and you put all your furniture and your supplies, your dishes, all that stuff in the back. You close it up and then actually you have the option of driving the truck wherever your new house is or your new place of business or you can hire someone to do it for you. Now these things are so important because people are always moving. Maybe they're buying a new house somewhere or they got a new job somewhere. So you have to have lots of moving trucks around. Those are really, really important. Now they get so heavy because you fill them all the way up with stuff. These things don't go too fast, but that's okay. You just want to make sure you get there safe and sound and get all your stuff where it needs to go, right? That's a green moving truck. Wow, look at this one. I am excited about this one, you guys. I'll be shocked if anyone knows this. This is crazy. This is a green capsule car. Wow! I mean, this is wild. Now, this was actually made famous by a really old 1960s cartoon series called The Jetsons. Meet George Jetson. <laughs> so much fun. Now, George, who was, you know, the husband and dad of the family, would drive his whole family in the morning. He'd drop the kids off at school. He'd drop his wife off at the mall, and she'd do some chores. And then, when he got to his office, with the touch of a button, this capsule car would fold up into a little tiny suitcase. <laughs> Isn't that cool? And he would hold it and just go to work. That is so neat. And as you can see here, you've got a couple of rows of seats for the whole family to just sit down and enjoy. And of course, you could drive it too. That's why it has the wheels. This is cool. And this is a green capsule car. All right, everybody. Maybe the cutest one of the day. This one is adorable. This is a green street sweeper. Check this out. And look who it is. Boom! It's Cleany from the Robo Carpoli TV series. Now that is so neat. Hiya, Cleany. Hi, how you doing? Ah, <laughs> Cleany, I'm doing great. And thanks for being so clean and cleaning up. Hi, you're quite welcome. Now, Cleany here is really, really important because he makes sure all the streets stay really, really clean. Now he's very compact, and as you can see on the bottom, he only has three wheels. Well, that allows him to turn in really tight and sharp spaces so that you know he can get into little nooks and crannies and clean just about anywhere. Now what's really cool is the way it works is he's got these two brushes right here and they spin round and round 
And then kind of like a vacuum, it'll suck up all the dirt, debris, it'll go through some tubes, and it dumps it all out here in the back. Right, Cleany? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's so cool. And he's got a couple of side mirrors here, and Cleany is always on and very responsible. And Cleany, we appreciate you keeping our streets clean. You're welcome. <laughs> very cool stuff, you guys. And this is a green street sweeper. All right, next up we have got an awesome one. Wow, I mean, let me take that back a little bit. This, of course, is a green dump truck. But look who it is, special guest, boom! It's Max from Tayo, the Little Bus TV series. Hey, Max, how you doing, pal? Well, I'm doing just great. And Max, what do you do? Well, I'm a dump truck, so I pick stuff up and then I dump it. <laughs> of course, I mean, how silly of me. Thanks, Max. So Max here, as he just said, is a big old green dump truck. And in the back, he's got all this space so he can go to a construction site or anywhere something's being built and they could fill it up with dirt, gravel, stones, scrap metal. Max will drive it to wherever it needs to go. Then he just goes boop, boop, boop. And the tail opens up and then everything comes out. Just like that. And then he goes back and fills it up again, right Max? That's exactly what I do. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. This is awesome, and Max is its just one of my favorites. I love you, Max. I love you, too. Thanks, buddy. This is a green dump truck. Okay, check this one out. I mean, are you serious with this one? This thing is so little and cute. Yeah, you know what this is. This is a green smart car. I mean, look at this. It is so tiny. I just want to, like... You know, pet it like a little puppy dog or something like that. I mean, how cute. These things are very agile, nimble. They got a short wheelbase. They're real good at accelerating because they're light to begin with. And I mean, they're easy to park. They're good on gas. I mean, this one is a real cool convertible. You got this black racing stripe. Real cool mag wheels. I mean, you just want to take this to the beach all day and, and lay out and have a good time. Maybe a little picnic at the beach. I guess you could say if you own one of these, well, you're probably pretty smart. <laughs> this is cool, you guys. And this is a green smart car. Okay, I have been looking forward to this one all day, you guys. You know what this is, right? This is a green go-kart. And I know you know who it is. Boom! It's Luigi! <laughs> Luigi, how you doing? Ah, I'm doing really good. Ah, Luigi, it's good to see you, buddy. I mean, look at you. You got your cool white racing gloves on there. You got the L for Luigi. I mean, really cool offset tires. The classic checker pattern there. And, whoa, a really awesome quad exhaust. I mean, Luigi, you know what you're doing. Oh, well, I, I like it to think so. <laughs> now, Luigi, of course, is the brother of Mario. And they're from the Mario Kart video game. Isn't that right? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, me and Mario, we uh, race all of the time. <laughs> oh, man, that sounds like fun. Now, these go-karts, of course, have tournaments everywhere in the world. I mean, these are very popular. They are low to the ground and mean, and they are zippy as heck. I mean, these are a lot of fun. Luigi, I can't thank you enough. It was my pleasure. <laughs> all right, you guys. Very cool stuff. This is a green go-kart. Okay, you guys, I'm going to attempt to pick this one up. I mean, this thing is absolutely over the top. This is a green alligator car. Yeah! <laughs> or as I like to call it, the Gator Mobile. <laughs> whoa, 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 easy. Get, get this guy some food. <laughs> Now you better watch out if you see the Gator Mobile coming towards you. I don't know, you better start running. Now this is so cool, it's actually got its tail, which is usually extended, folded up on top of the roof here. I mean, that's kind of wild. You got a couple of doors, you know, you got your wheels, because it is a you know car of sorts. But I wonder, what goes in the mouth? Ugh, I don't think I want to know. <laughs> that scares me a little bit. I mean, you got a lot of crazy razor sharp teeth there. And look at those eyes. I'm keeping my eye on you, kids. <laughs> oh, man, this gator, he's, he's being crazy. Now, actually, a fun little fact. Did you guys know that gators love to eat fruit? Yeah, they love fruit. I mean, I love fruit, too, but I tell you what, if I have an apple, I'm giving it to this guy. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. This is so cool, and this is a green 
alligator car. Hutton, hut. Do you know what this is, soldier? <laughs> this, you guys, is a green military jeep. Yeah, we're having some fun, but man, this is a really, really cool one. That's right. Now, these are used a lot by the army, and it started way, way back in the 1940s by a company called Willys, <laughs> which is kind of a silly name, isn't it? Now, check this out. They got a, a cool star here on the hood, and on the back, you got an extra tire in case you get a flat. This container here actually holds some extra gasoline, so if you get low or if you ran out, you got a little extra to get you back to base. These things are very, very rugged and durable. Of course, they're four-wheel drive, so they can go just about anywhere. And this soldier is a green military jeep. Okay, gang, check out this next one. This is very appropriate. This, of course, is a green Angry Birds car. That's right. Now, of course, that movie just came out, and this guy driving it is Foreman Pig. Oh, yeah, nice to see you, pal. Or some of you call him Mustache Pig, and I like to call Mustache the old cookie duster. I think that's a funny name for it, too. Now, what's really, really cool about this, kind of like the capsule car over there, is it is a car, you can see the wheels, but it's also a plane. It's got a propeller here, it's got some big exhaust here on the rear, little side steps and wings, so this thing can go on the ground and welcome back, <laughs> and up in the air too. I mean, that is just a lot of fun, you guys. Now, like I said, this is very appropriate because the Angry Birds movie just came out. You gotta go check it out. You know it's gonna be a ton of fun. And this, everybody, is a green Angry Birds car. Okay, everybody, last one of the day, and I am excited. I am glad we saved this one for last because this one is completely unique and so much fun. This is a green airplane. Yeah! No, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you're saying, hold on a sec, pal. How is this an airplane? I mean, it's got rotors on it like a helicopter. Well, actually, this one does both. This is called a tilt rotor. So what happens is when it wants to take off like a helicopter, the rotors will spin. It'll take off straight up in the air. When it gets high enough, these will tilt forward. Check that out. Whoa. And then it can just fly forward like an airplane. You see that? Then all of a sudden you're dealing with a, a two-prop airplane. That's so cool. Now these are great. The military likes these and also anywhere where there's just not a runway that's possible. When it wants to land, it'll slow down. The tilt rotor will tilt backwards and then boom, like a helicopter, just land straight back down. I mean, that is just engineering at its finest. Very cool stuff, you guys. And that is a green airplane. Whoa! That is it for today. Thank you so much for stopping by and having fun with us. These street vehicles were a blast. We had some wild ones in there. And of course, we learned about the color green. G-R-E-E-N. I hope you had fun. I know I did. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a fun comment below. Thanks everybody.